What is going on guys, it is your boy Tail coming at you with another video and today I'm going to be telling you guys why you should not just be sticking to one style. Now when it comes to style, you have the aesthetic that you gravitate towards the most. We all have it. Whether that be, you know, you're dressing like a gym bro, you know what I mean? Or you're dressing casual wear, you're doing street wear, you dress like you're more of the punk rock kind of crowd. We all have a certain aesthetic that we all gravitate to, you know what I mean? But the problem is, is that when we get too comfortable with one aesthetics, that just makes you predictable. That makes you boring, kind of. You know what I mean? So when it comes to your style, it's best to incorporate other styles into your wardrobe. And today, I'm going to be telling you guys just how to do that. With that being said, let's peep this fit. We'll get right into the video. Let's go. Number one, get pieces that you would never otherwise get. You know what I mean? Now, I remember one time I did a challenge, a $100 shoe challenge at Famous Footwear. I decided to get myself some Doc Martens. You know what I mean? I decided to go outside the box when it comes to my style. My type of style is more of like Jordans, Air Force Ones kind of thing. But I was like, you know what? Let me try something new and let me get some Doc Martin boots. This is going to be something that's completely outside of my style. All right. And lo and behold, I have a few really good outfits with these Doc Martens. You know what I mean? I took something that people in the punk rock crew were interested in and I adapted it into my own style. I remember one time I had like a nice outfit. You know what I mean? I had an outfit where it was like I had some dark jeans, a Doc Martens, a black tee, a silver tennis chain, and a jean jacket. You know what I mean? And that was one of the best fits I think I ever composed. Everybody at, at, uh, at community college was like, yo, I really like that fit. It's a pretty fire fit, you know what I mean? So yeah, moving on to number two, let's go. Number two, get familiar with different aesthetics. Now, if you watch a lot of people that wear streetwear, then you should, you should consume media that has different aesthetics. For example, I watch people that are very new to the style. I wouldn't even say new, but I watch a lot of people like, you know, like Cash K, even though he's not really my, you know, he's not really my, um, that's not really what I would wear. I just watch to see what kind of stuff can I get inspired by. But at the same time, I watch people like Alpha M, Teaching Men's, teaching men's Fashion, which I don't really watch Teaching Men's Fashion no more. I mainly just watch the style videos. But anyways, those two, what I just mentioned, Alpha M and Teaching Men's Fashion, they teach you how to do more of the dressy wear. You know what I mean? More of suit wear, more of, you know what I mean? And that expands my style a little bit more. You know what I mean? So yeah, moving on to number three. Let's go. Number three, try different styles for each day of the week. You know what I mean? I'll give you an example. One day I had a streetwear outfit. You know what I mean? And it was pretty fire. You know what I mean? I had the cherry 11s on. I had some light wash jeans, a red sweatshirt, and a puff jacket. It was a fire fit. Everybody was saying I was flea that day. You know what I mean? But then I had a classy wear outfit. I had some like Levi boots, some chugga boots, Levi chugga boots, and I had some chinos. Then I had a polo top, you know what I mean? So that was pretty good, you know what I mean? And then I had a sweatshirt, a sweatsuit, like just a Nike sweatsuit, just something basic, something simple, you know what I mean? And it took me out of my comfort zone. Every day I'm always thinking, all right, I'm like, okay, how can I make every, how can I, how can I, um, if people think they have me figured out, how can I prove them wrong that they don't have me figured out? You know what I mean? So I'll opt to wear some dress clothes one day. I opt to wear some streetwear the next day, and then maybe I'll just throw somebody out by wearing a sweat, by wearing a sweatsuit and everything. You know what I mean? And I remember I was talking to somebody on campus. It was pretty cool. You know what I mean? Like somebody was wearing a decent fit, so I complimented them. I'm like, hey, you know, I like your fit. It's pretty fire. You know what I mean? And they told me they're like, oh, like you too though. Like every time I see you, you're looking flea all the time. I don't, I still don't know what flea means. I'm gonna be honest with you, and I just said it like two times. But anyways. <laughs> My point is, is try different styles all the time. You know what I mean? You're going to be known as that stylish kid, as opposed to a lot of people on campus that they just wear, not that there's anything wrong with it, but to a lot of people that they wear graphic t-shirts and they wear like a lot of worn in sh shoes and stuff like that. That's going to set you aside from the rest of the crowd. You know what I mean? So yeah, moving on to number four. And finally, number four, mixing styles together. Now, I remember I did an outfit. I had some Doc Martens, some dark wash jeans and a Fruit of the Loom navy blue sweatshirt. Now, I usually see Doc Martens with the punk rock crowd. You know what I mean? A lot of people that listen to a lot of rock or or have a lot of like emo influence into them, they're wearing Doc Martens a lot of the times. Um, trust me, I've seen this before. You know what I mean? But I mix it in with streetwear, you know what I mean? And I want you guys to be that way too. I want you guys to be that style savvy that you could wear something that's typically like emo wear or dressy wear whatever the case may be i want you guys to wear that and i just want you guys to flip the script on people you know what i mean if they think they have you figured out don't let them think they have you figured out you know what i mean just switch it up on people you know what i mean so yeah moving on to the outro actually i have an announcement to make um but yeah moving on to the next thing let's go 
All right, guys, so I just wanted to make an announcement real quick that I'm going to do a new segment on my YouTube channel. I'm sorry I keep on postponing the sneaker review Saturday, but I'm going to get to it, you know what I mean? And I'm going to review some shoes, and yeah. And anyways, I'm going to launch something new on Friday. It's kind of going to be called the Fit of the Week, and it's where you guys are going to see the fits that I have for every day of the week up until Thursday because I have to upload it by Friday, all right? So that's what I'm going to do. And you guys are gonna see a bunch of different styles that I try out. You guys are gonna try. You guys are gonna get to know my style in a much different light, and just know what I wear and whatnot. All right. So yeah. Now moving on to the outro. Let's go. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Do not forget to follow me on other social media platforms. And your boy Tails out.